Garmin Drive Smart 66 Route Planner. Let's go. Travel in confidence. I like that. Create a route. Touch the map to add a start location or select the search icon to search for a location. Now what that means is that I can just touch a point anywhere on the map and I could make that my start point if I wanted to. And that brings up the first thing I'll talk about. This is to view the entire route. You need at least two points for that to happen. This is an undo. So if I tap that, see how that went away? That's an undo. I'll do it again just so I can show you. There it is. Undo. Okay. That's a search up there. This is grayed out because that is the list of turns. You need at least two turns, again, to view a list. That is a save icon down there, which is also grayed out because, again, you need at least two points in order to save a route. Now, to keep this simple, I'm going to search, and I'll do where I am now. But before I do, you can do category, home, address, save, recent, four square, doesn't matter what coordinates. You can, again, browse the map, which is the same thing as where we were. So you have a whole bunch of choices as far as where is my start point but I will do where I am now and yeah we'll do it like that select okay so I got one point see the green flag right there now I will pick the destination so I will do that with a search actually you know what I will do it with let's see if I can back out a bit going to Dallas touch the map to add more stops touch a route segment to change the route or to insert stops and shaping points I'll do that in a bit but anyway there is my route now if I tap this guy right here it backs up the map so you can see the whole thing okay now you'll notice at the, this point these can be selected so if I hit this which I'm not going to do right now, that would save it. If I tap this, going from here to here. Okay. But I will cancel that. Now I'm going to add another point. So I will go ahead, I'll search for it this time. Let's see if I can get in there. Yeah, somewhere around here. So I'll do a search and I will do near Carrollton. Okay, C-A-R-R, -R. is it going to tell me? There we go. Okay, searching in Carrollton, and I'll pick a Kroger in there. Shopping, grocery store, search, K-R-O. Uh, that's, de there we go, there's one in Carrollton. Yep, good, select. Now, what it does is that when I added this point, I'll back up and zoom, uh, excuse me, zoom out. You'll notice that it added it as the destination, the final point. So I go back to the turns list, and I'm going to take this Kroger and move it up one. So it is the midpoint. Start, midpoint, and you can add as many points as you want, but I'm keeping this simple just to get through this. So, okay, done. And it's going to recalculate the route again. And watch these flip. See? Now it goes from here to here to here. Good. Okay. Now I go to shaping. Place shaping points between stops to create a modifier route segment. So, okay. I'm going to zoom in. Now you can do pinch to zoom or the plus and minus, by the way, for the zoom controls. But let's just see. There's Mockingbird. Oh, I saw it. There it is. There's Mockingbird right there. So I will tap this guy and I'm going to insert Mockingbird. Yeah, see the little arrows? It says which way the direction of travel is going. So I'm going to get in real tight. So I pick the right one. Tap. Oh no! I can't calculate it. You know why? Because I don't think I tapped it quite correct. Let's try this one. 
Yeah, that one. Did. Yeah, because I didn't exactly hit the road. Oh, it's thinking about this one. This is a weird route, and I picked it on purpose just to show you what actually happens. But oh yeah, it'll get all around it. And this is a long trip, too. Okay, so let me back up. There we go. Okay. So... Oh yeah, that... <laughs> that is a really convoluted route. But it did it. See, what it did is good down here, on the Mockingbird, do a Catawampus, and then on the Harry Hines, and then we get into Dallas that way. But it did it. I was able to shape my route, which is what I wanted to do. And then I look at my list of turns. Yeah, there it goes, right on the Mockingbird. So it's going to here, to that Kroger, to Mockingbird, to Dallas okay we're good and then I'm going to say yep I like this so this I hit the check mark okay now let me examine the turns once more. okay now I'm going to save it by tapping this icon and now I will enter a name I will just call it test one I should note something while you're on the keyboard here if you tap this guy down here that's where you get the extended characters. So if I want to test number one, I can do that too. Now at this point, if I click on list, I see all the turns. Okay, good. And it's saved. We're done. Now a couple other things before I end this one. I can go here. You can share the route here. But what I can also do with this is that if I view it, you see that pencil icon up there? I can edit this if I want to. Nice. View my stuff again. Good. There's the distance, the time, etc., so on and so forth. This guy right here, this wrench, this is nice. I can duplicate. So if I duplicate this, and I call this test number two, nice, very nice. So what I can do from here is if I have this route, but if I want to copy it and then edit a second instance of it, that is how you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that uh, this one right here. Is it from here? No. Is it from... Here, yeah, delete. Okay, so now I'm back to number one. So if I go there, remember, there's two wrenches. It's a little bit confusing, but you have to view the route in order to copy it. And then here, and I can delete, rename, duplicate. You also, here's another thing you can do right from here too, is view the turns. So if you want to view all the turns, every single turn on this route, that is how you go about it. And to do that once more, once more, I'm going to view it, I'm going to wrench it, I'm going to down, I'm going to down. <laughs> I tap down, view the turns, there's all my turns to the whole thing. Oh my god, there's so many. So there you have it. A basic overview of how to do the route planner on a drive smart 66 is it better than how it used to be yeah oh yes because i can easily copy stuff i can view all my turns without actually having to start the route that's nice that sharing thing that you saw a moment ago if this was smartphone connected i i don't have my phone connected to this but if i did then i could share it out if i wanted to that's kind of nice I do like the fact, it's just easier, for me anyway, it is easier for me to get along with this compared to the old way of doing it. On a final note, I will have a video linked of my other route planner video 
that shows you a different way to go about this, which can be applied to this one, using the detour by road feature. So if you want to get really particular with how you do your routes in this, and you want to just avoid certain roads, yes, you can do it with this guy. You just have to do it with the detour by road feature. So if you want to check that out, just I'll, I'll put it in the pinned comment and you can check that out too.